Hello everyone, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. This is a real world scenario where I had to fix these Fujitsu document scanners. The problem is that these scanners sometimes are not compatible with Windows 11. So for example, some of these older Fujitsu ones that are like 6000s, 4000s, or even 5000s, they simply will not work and you can't get a working package from Fujitsu itself because they also got sold to Rico. So here's an issue. The problem is you upgrade to Windows 11 or you install Windows 11 on your computers and suddenly this document scanner is not working. Either document scanner doesn't show up at all or the document scanner is installed but is not working as it should be. So the solution to this is actually this and I will show you. So here are the steps on how to resolve this. If you open up your device manager, you may or may not see the Fujitsu document scanner even show up at all. So the problem is it could be there under imaging. And since I don't have anything under imaging right now, there is nothing there. So if I go to printers and scanners, there's also nothing there. Or it could be there again, but it's simply not working. So the issue is with compatibility with drivers. And the solution is to find a compatibility drivers or compatible drivers that will work on Windows 11 as well as a Twain driver, which is a paper stream Twain driver. Twain driver is basically set up so that it takes the raw format from the document scanner. So you put the document into your scanner. Again, these are the scanners. You put the document into the scanner, it scans it and it processes it and it gives the information to the Windows operating system but some other software requires that raw data to be converted into jpeg pdf png or whatever else format that you would like and for those reasons you need a combination of the correct drivers and the correct paper stream software that will allow you to do this right so that's the trick and unfortunately fujitsu website itself doesn't provide a solution like this or the combination of these two but however i figured it out by some trial and error to be honest to make this work so let's go ahead and show you how to do this the first thing you got to do is look at your device manager and see if there's anything in there to figure out what kind of a problem do you have if it's not showing up or anything like that and it would be showing up under imaging devices under right now i don't have anything under imaging devices but if you do it would show up in there and for those reasons what you would do is update the driver and point to the correct driver that you want to use However, in some other situations, you may have a situation where it simply looks kind of like this. It wouldn't be installed at all. And for those reasons, you would have to install the driver to begin with. So just make sure that you install the correct driver, which I will show you how to find it and exactly which one to use. All right, so the way you do this is by right clicking the device that you want to update the driver to, select update driver, select browse my computer for drivers, and then select let me pick uh, from a list from drivers available on my computer and then go down here and look for imaging devices as so select next and then you will have an option of a bunch of different drivers for example here's the Fujitsu one and you'd be tempted to pick any of these right now however do not do not I don't care which one you have these are the wrong drivers you need to find specific drivers that will work for this and to do that you would have to go to your existing computer and locate the folder that is called FJ mini and for those reasons from this window you have to select have disk and then here you would point to the location where this folder is with the drivers that you actually need to use so go ahead and select browse and on the same computer that you've had this computer that you had this document scanner installed previously so make sure that this is previous windows 10 machine that had these drivers because they will have the oldest version of these drivers that you actually need to use which kind of sounds uh, counterproductive and it kind of doesn't make sense but it actually worked this is the combination you have to do anyways you have to point to C Windows from here. So let's go ahead and find our C drive. Here it is, C drive, select Windows, and then locate a folder called FJ Mini. Go ahead and select Open, and I will show you what's inside. 
and it has all the drivers that you would need you can see how old these are you can see 2010 2012 and these are exact drivers that you would need so go ahead and just select open or if you if it makes you feel better you can actually for example select the model of the scanner that you have but it really doesn't matter it's going to find within this folder the dot inf uh, file that you would need for the driver obviously and then select open select ok and then from here you would get a selection of the drivers now for the device that you're installing it will only show one driver if you find the actual if you're working on the document scanner itself here is just giving me a full list of the drivers but again for your specific document scanner it will just show that one driver that you would need so you go ahead and just select the one you need so for example let's say it's 6130 dj select next and you won't get this warning as long as you have the compatible driver installed in this case i'm just installing it for demonstration go ahead and select yes and it's going to install that driver for you again this one is given error codes because i'm not actually installing a the, document scanner at all this is just a random thing i picked in my device manager to show you as an example again if you come across an issue where you also have this exclamation mark obviously you have to go through this process again until you find the correct driver and this exclamation mark disappears okay so that's the first step and again just to reiterate make sure you get this fj mini folder that is located on your old windows 10 computer very crucial because the ones you download from the website are not going to work okay all right so the second part is and here's what we actually have to do is install the paper stream software that would handle the scanning so the next step is to actually download the correct paper stream software that would handle conversion from the raw data into the format that you want png jpeg whatever else that you need so let's just go ahead and use google or go to the website that for that will give you this information directly so in this case let's say driver for sure let's pick one of these 6130 why not and it will take you to rico website and the reason it's pointing to rico website because Fujitsu got bought by Rico, so all these new document scanners that you buy will now be labeled as Rico, which is a Japanese uh, company, which is fine. So here are the drivers, and actually we don't need these drivers because these are the wrong drivers, as I've said it previously. And you can see there's a twin driver version 9.216, and this is from 2021. This is not designed to work with Windows 11 and for your old document scanner at all. So what you need is the newest driver, and that is, for example, for the newest, one of the newer models, which is, for example, 8 series. So go ahead and find that, do the same thing, do the search, get the driver, and here is, let's just go through the navigation of locating the driver. Let's just pick 8 series here. And I'll go ahead and just pick this one. It really doesn't matter. We just need to get to the point where we select the correct driver or the co-correct paper stream. And here it is. This is the main one we actually need here. Paper stream, twain driver, 3.3. 3.3. So this is the one we need to download and install to make it work together with our old driver. And here's what happens. You would download it. And then you would extract it and then you would install the whole thing and then you would reboot so let's go ahead and go through the steps here it is in our downloads folder what's going to do now is ex extract this and it's going to create a folder called the disk one after it's done with its extraction which will have the software setup that we need to make this work so this is just it's it's just it's taken a while for it to just kind of extract but you will see it here momentarily while it's doing this and while it's extracting just make sure as a side note that you run these things as administrator so you may have to log into that computer as an administrator to make sure that this is done correctly right and you can see how it's extracting all the things that we need right now and it automatically starts it so go ahead and select yes 
again here is just to, just so you know what happened it extracted a disk one here and it kicked off setup right here all right just to tell you what's going on here go ahead and select next and just go through this process and there's one crucial step that you have to make sure you don't miss since we've already installed the driver make sure you tell it not to install the new driver at all because that will break your setup here so make sure you don't miss this part the whole thing is very crucial it's very sensitive this is why i wanted to make a video specifically for this because once you come across this solution suddenly you have these document scanners that would be otherwise just tossed away they're expensive they're like thousand dollars each so you can now use your old 10 to 15 year old document scanner again in windows 11 so this is a huge huge money saver and for those reasons i highly encourage you to actually do this all right now it's complete and you can see that it installed all the things that came with the twain driver here is profile importer uh, software operation panel and this and that so there you have it now all you have to do is test it we can test it with a document scanner that comes with windows or you can simply go to the device itself under documents and scanner and just do a test to see how it works and test it with all the software that you're using it for i hope this video helps you please take time to like and subscribe i really appreciate it if this has helped you in any way and saved you thousands of dollars potentially it, let's say it's for your company please leave a comment and just say thank you this worked or something like that i'd really appreciate it because i really feel like this is important for people and companies and because obviously saves a lots a lots of money i hope to see you next time take care bye